In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick is a gripping non-fiction account of the tragic voyage of the whaling ship Essex in 1820, which served as the inspiration for Herman Melville's Moby Dick. The book draws on first-hand accounts, including one from a cabin boy named Thomas Nickerson, discovered only in 1984. The story begins with an exploration of Nantucket's history, detailing how the island became a major hub in the whaling industry. Nantucket settlers initially pursued agriculture but shifted their focus to whaling when they realized the value of whale blubber for oil production. The island's white settlers, primarily Quakers, formed an insular community that relied on hunting whales, teaching their children this skill from a young age. As the whale population near Nantucket dwindled, whalers had to venture farther into the ocean, leading to longer voyages of two years or more. The Essex set sail from Nantucket in 1819 with a crew primarily composed of Nantucket natives, including Captain George Pollard and first mate Owen Chase. Some crew members from the mainland with little whaling experience also joined the expedition. The voyage of the Essex was plagued by misfortune from the outset. Captain Pollard's failure to prepare for an approaching storm nearly capsized the ship and damaged it significantly. Instead of returning to port for proper repairs, he decided to press on, fearing that the crew would abandon the mission if they returned home. Months passed without spotting any whales, prompting the crew to head to the offshore ground, a distant whale breeding area. In late November 1820, a sperm whale attacked and sank the Essex. The crew divided into three small boats, led by Pollard, Chase, and second mate, Matthew Joy. They embarked on a perilous journey towards South America in search of food and safety. Over the next three months, the survivors faced storms and attacks from marine creatures, including killer whales and sharks. They encountered Henderson Island, where they replenished their water supply, but three crew members chose to remain behind. As time passed, crew members began to die, and the survivors resorted to cannibalism. The boats drifted apart, and Pollard and Chase's crews were eventually rescued in late February. Sadly, the third boat disappeared, and its occupants were presumed dead. After their rescue, the survivors slowly reintegrated into society. The whaling industry in Nantucket declined over the years, but the island experienced a resurgence as a tourist destination by the end of the 19th century. In the Heart of the Sea masterfully recounts the harrowing journey of the Essex's crew and the extremes they endured in their struggle for survival. The book not only provides historical insights into the whaling industry, but also delves into the psychological and moral challenges faced by the crew during their ordeal. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.